Mary Catherine Ham, Mom Extraordinaire, Getting Hammered Podcaster, and uh, on Twitter X, one of the go-to places of late, she, along with Bethany Mandel, along with uh, Lives of TikTok or Chai Raichik, Guy Benson, there's a handful of people that are shining a mirror on the rising anti-Semitism in media, on college campuses across the country, and 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 shining a, a, a bright spotlight on all this stuff that's going on, and it's very necessary and very much appreciated. Welcome, Mary Catherine Ham. Thanks for being on with me. Of course. Glad to be here. It's been a, an interesting two-plus weeks of news. It really has. Just in the last uh, couple of days, uh, the two most egregious examples that I want you to kind of weigh in on is at Cooper Union, of all places. I mean, the site of one of the most uh, moral speeches ever given by a future president, Abraham Lincoln, back in 1860. At Cooper Union, a group of Jewish students were literally trapped in a library by a horde of anti-Semites literally banging on the door and, and basically trying to scare them to death. It was it was remarkably anti-Semitic and frightening that this is happening on a on a school campus in in uh, twenty in twenty twenty three and in addition at the University of Washington Seattle and I think you put this up uh, as well it's been circulating around the Twitter X's for a, a last eighteen twenty hours or so. This is what a demonstrator actually said, the quiet part out loud. Cut 24. Uh, we know Here that we sometimes there are Zionist pro-Israel counter-protests at these actions. And if you see them, you don't have to engage with them. We're doing our best to de-escalate them, to move them away. We don't want Israel to exist. We don't want these Zionist counter-protesters to exist. We can't control that. What we can control is ourselves. We can uh, choose to focus on our demands today. We want UW to cut ties with weapons companies, UW to condemn the attacks against Palestinian students, UW to cut ties with Israel, and to end the siege on Gaza now. We don't want Israel to exist, Mary Catherine Ham. We don't want counter protesters here to exist. What in the world are we going to do about this? I mean, it's it's outrageous. These institutions are failing their students in such dramatic ways. Not not just the, the part where they don't learn things, uh, but now these these paragons of safe spaces um, refuse to create safety for a very small uh, and historically marginalized community, the Jews. Right, and it is it is shocking to watch what those kids at Cooper Union went through uh because that's more than speech what they were going through i i respect the fact that we stick up for free speech even the the speech that we hate right but bobbing people at a library uh barricading where they have to barricade behind doors uh that is the opposite of the safe spaces we've been told are the must exist on campus from any ideological sort of uh heterodoxy i mean it is I, I, I seem to remember not too long ago, hate has no home here. Hate has no place here. Unless, of course, it's Jews that you're hating, right? Well, and that's, that's the thing, is that once you have defined your ideology in the way that these young people have, as the oppressed is, is justified in doing whatever one needs to do to the oppressor, it's real convenient. Right. Like you don't have to have a moral right and wrong. You don't have to have any thoughts about just war theory. You don't have to think any further than I have identified this person as the oppressor, which is patently ridiculous when you're talking about the Jewish community, which is both a minority and historically persecuted and created Israel so that it would be less persecuted um, and be strong and be able to defend itself. That's what offends them. As, As she stated in that speech, what offends them is that the Jews do defend themselves. They don't want them to exist, and it's annoying uh, when they do. 
do you you're you're a mom of smalls at some point those kids are going to be old enough to think about going off to college has this episode caused you to rethink the prestige of colleges and what you and and how you're going to look at the college choosing experience i think parents all over this country need to have a rethink about what they think about colleges and universities and just say no to a lot of them yeah, I, I think there's already a bit of a shift underway. Actually, this is anecdotally, I'd be interested in data, but a lot of D.C. area sort of very driven, you know, overscheduled uh, uh, affluent high school kids here, I keep hearing are applying to SEC schools. And that was driven in, look, this, this lunacy on campus has been happening for a while, and it, it has changed my mind about college in some ways. But the COVID stuff was even worse. They wouldn't let yep. them have a real experience and now this is the icing on the cake i think people are going to make some decisions about where they get their status in the future because it ain't these places i hope so and it has to happen that's that's the only way we're going to have a cultural change here we have to basically turn off of 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 supporting this kind of garbage on campuses keep up the great work mk hammer on twitter x or the getting hammered podcast thank you mary catherine hammond